Okay. Well, let's just see all the veins we got here. So we're going to put this tourniquet all the way up above the elbow and we can check all the different sites here. So you have a good AC, but see how you can't really visualize it very well, but I can feel it. Okay, so that's a good one. Got all kinds of forearm veins and the hand. We'll move our tourniquet down and So see those little like bubbles? Those are valves. And you can, it is possible to go through the valve with the needle, but sometimes it can blow the vein. Okay, you can flick the vein to plump it up. This one's good too. All right, so we'll just, we'll just do the hand and then if you want another video with the AC, we can do that. Ooh, he's got a little bit of a rolling vein. Look at that. <laughs> so this in that instance is where you want to hold the skin taut and pull down so that it's not moving as much. And just like Chief Piper said, get your thumb out of the way because that will redirect your angle if your thumb is up too high. So pulling down over the knuckle is best. All right, so we have our tourniquet on. We've located the site. We're gonna clean it with our chloroprep. We have our flush ready to go. You ready? <laughs> All right, so about a 40 degree angle. Make sure your bevel is facing up. So then the flash goes all the way down into the chamber once you get that. Uh-oh. I think we're at a valve. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so in this instance, we're right up against the veil. You can move the catheter and see that it's in the vein. We're gonna retract the needle. We don't wanna keep pushing through though, cause we might blow it. So we're gonna connect our flush, pop the tourniquet. Nope. Yeah, it won't go in. Guess we should have listened to you and used your other hand. Okay. Sorry.